What's up kids? Long time no see. As suspected, uh, I've been pretty bogged down with work, but uh, I have been fishing a little bit. I got out twice last weekend, uh, brought the camera once, and uh, it died before I finally caught one bass over at uh, Twin Lakes in Bronxville. Um, and then the next day, I actually tried the Bronx River really close to my house, um, also in Bronxville. And I didn't have the camera, but I caught like three species. I caught red breast sunfish, I caught perch, and I caught a teeny tiny largemouth bass. Probably the smallest, definitely the smallest largemouth bass I've ever caught. I'm talking like that big. So, um, we're going to go back there today. Today is October 7th. It's 8 a.m. Guys, it's my 36th birthday. Yay! So... I'm going to do some birthday fishing. I was thinking one possible goal would be to catch as many fish as my age, but that's uh, very unrealistic. So maybe we'll try for half as many. That would be 18. That would be an adult uh, limit of fish. Uh, I guess 36, the only significant thing about my age is that I'm twice, two times an adult now, um, and I still don't feel like it at all. All right, let's get fishing. I'll see you there. Okay, so we're here, this is Bronxville, this is I think the Bronx River Park, um, I'm going to try right where I was fishing last time. Now I fell into the creek the last time, um, so it was very wet and slippery and it's going to be even worse because it's been raining a lot and I'm sure you can tell it's kind of a misty, overcast day. Now where was I? I was over here. So we'll start from where I left off. I'm pretty sure that what I'm doing is okay. No signs, no posted signs, public park. So I just have a little split shot, a little hook, um, and that's it. We got some worms from my yard. Okay, so we're just going to go with pieces of worm today. Don't need whole worms for the kind of size we're expecting. Have the ultralight rod and reel today, two pound line. So we can't really handle bigger fish anyway. Oh, f there goes all my coffee. There goes all of my coffee. Not all of it. Most of it. There's a big carp over there. But something I cannot land. With. Okay, I, oh. Had a fish. I think we're gonna get one on this cast. Yeah, it's a good spot. Ooh, that's a big fish. That's a nice perch. Look at this. It's a really decent perch. Look at that. That is a good freaking perch. Oof. All right. Nice perch. I mean, that's an eater perch, but I'm not going to eat it. I think this river's a little too polluted. I did have to take one last. Okay, see ya. I did have to take a perch last week because it swallowed the hook and wasn't swimming away properly so this one spined me a little bit no big deal all right slight change of location folks I was just on the other side of this tree branch tree branch um, now I'm over here this is where I caught most of my fish last week I think we'll get some quick action here yep Number two, red breast sunfish. And my, what a red breast it is. Look at that. Uh, 
Alright, I touched him. That counts. Let's see who else comes up there. All I can see them coming after it too. Got one. That's three. Little red breasts. Four. Five. That's six. Took my worm. New species, pumpkin seed. And that would be seven fish. There we go, that was easy. So, this bodes well for the Bronx River. There's uh, red breast sunfish, pumpkin seed, largemouth bass, perch. Um, farther north, I've caught uh, creek chubs. Uh, the only carp I ever caught was uh, also in the Bronx River. So, seems like a relatively healthy uh, watershed here. All right, that was seven. Here we go, eight. Oh, another species, bluegill. So if we can catch a, uh, a green sunfish, we've got the superfecta, the panfish superfecta. We've already got the trifecta. Nice one. I mean, little, but nice colors. Red breast. Come on, man. This guy swallowed. Sometimes when you just push it down first. Yep. Look at that. So if they ever swallow it, as long as it's not like gut hooked, sometimes it helps to just push the hook down a little bit. That'll get the barb out, and then you can just, it'll come right out. All right, that was eight. This one. Another pumpkin seed. Oh damn, and he really swallowed it. Uh, I think this guy might be a goner, but we'll try. On the perfect billy club. All right, you really do start to lose track. But I think that was eight. We're going for nine. I will use him and I will freeze him and use him in the future for cut bait. Oh sh there's a huge carp who almost went for it. I don't think I could possibly land it with this line. I really don't. I really don't. I saw that one. Another pumpkin seed. Number 10. There's 11. It's a bluegill. Oh, they're really tiny. Really tiny guy. It's already got that purple, that purple winter sheen. All right, guys, I didn't get that on film, but another big perch. Probably bigger than my first one. Um, feisty guy. Again, if I didn't suspect that this was like a really polluted river, these are per great eater sized perch. Um, yeah, and I'm not used to catching perch, so this is fun. So this is number 11. I actually don't know if I got the other, you know, 10 on film, but 
maybe even nine, but anyway, number 11. Are you finished, Mr. Slade? No, I'm just getting warmed up. Okay, folks, well, I just ran out of worms. I think I probably could have caught 36 fish without a problem, um, maybe even another hour or so. But um, I actually feel like changing pace and going to check out Tibbetts Brook Park just for like another hour because I actually got a little party I'm going to have to go home and get ready for. But um, yeah, I'd, I'd rather see if there's any bass action at Tibbetts Brook than just keep catching this little stuff. But it was a lot of fun. We caught uh, a uh, sunfish trifecta, just needed that green sunfish, and some really nice yellow perch. So, um, all right, I'll see you in a second. Well, guys, here's Tibbetts Brook. It is game on. I haven't seen it look this clear of pads and all kinds of crazy vegetation since the spring. So this is awesome. So I can start coming here again. I can start riding my bike here again. Um, I like starting in this south corner. This is where I've had all my luck here. Um, so, or, you know, it's just the southern side, both corners. Um, I normally wouldn't stop here, but there was a great blue heron that I scared by mistake. So maybe the birds know something. All right, this tree's been good to me in the past. This little area. Um, most of the fish I've caught here have actually been on like little spinner baits. So, let's see if that changes today with this kind of Texas rig soft plastic. I always see what the birds are doing. This looks like a looks like a cormorant, but it's really light. It's like brown. I'm used to them being black. Maybe this is like their uh, fall colors. All right, I got the old uh, spinner worm on here. Let's see what damage we can do. I think my biggest fish from this park came right here. It was about a pound and a half. I had that one on video. All right. Don't have a lot of time here. All right, well, maybe it wasn't such a great idea to come to Tibbetts Brook if, uh, if I was hoping to catch fish, but that's what this place has, uh, that's what I've come to expect from this place. You know, there's, a, there's days where you catch one or two bass, and there's days where you just don't catch anything. But it's nice to see that it's fishable once again, because it was, it was not fishable for about four months, um, or, yeah, maybe even longer. So, um, I'll keep coming back, we'll try to find them. But uh, this has been a good day. 21 fish, um, birthday, about to go watch some football, have a few libations, so good stuff. All right, 36 years old, here's to another year.
Fish like there's no tomorrow. Peace. What?